it occurred to me, well, I mean, fucking first of all, because I'm recording, it's Monday, February 14th, 2022, and damn, today's theme is actually <laughs> somewhat uh, relatedly falls in line with Valentine's Day. Today's Valentine's Day 2022. And the title for this one I'm going to call is uh, Like a Virgin Again. Like a Virgin Again. And uh, it just, I, I, w- I was thinking, I was thinking about how best to fuck the game. You feel me? There's a saying in the street, actually. And I'm sure it, it's said in the, uh, plenty of circles in corporate, too, where I've also heard it myself that you're striving to fuck the game from the back. You feel me? You want to get the best angle with the best leverage on the game so that you can dominate the game, right? And in this instance, it's 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 market share, really. I, I mean, that's what folks are after. That ain't to say that you can't analogize it to a physical relationship, a sexual relationship, right? Because for some, I mean, <laughs> pleasure and satisfaction comes from domination. Yay or nay? <laughs> Yay or nay? Yes or yes? It's a, it's a yes, yes, but it's not a no. You feel me? The point is, or what I was what I was driving at is, I was thinking, <clears throat> I was thinking that the way to clear a market or the way to pave way for an open market of your own is necessarily to set it up, is, is to till that soil, to turn over the earth, to turn, o- turn over that dirt, plot it down, let it, let it go fallow. Or encourage it to fallow, to let it go fallow. Essentially, it's just to let it be overrun with uh, with a hu- with a, with the nature, with its own nature. And in this instance, in this case, we're talking about human nature. I saw this clip, came across this uh, the short clip of Andrew Schultz, a comedian, a comedian of sorts, very funny guy, also a social commentator, but has a. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, has a comedian's perspective on life. Funny guy, funny guy, looks funny, funny face. Overall, really uh, easy going, good going, great going guy. He was uh, being interviewed, or he was just talking, I guess. He was monologuing on the effects of TikTok in society. Essentially how China... China being the owner of TikTok or some some kind of uh, national nationalized company being the creator of TikTok and promoting it, China uses TikTok as a field to cultivate and develop innovative ideas for their nation, for their country, right? And they can do this because they can program TikTok to promote or they can incentivize creators to gain likes and to gain followers to 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 gain traction to go viral <laughs> per se you know to go viral when what they do amounts to something productive for you know the great republic of china and you know i i, I got to pay deference to them because that's a smart fucking move I think uh, uh, all nations being corporations in and of themselves should be operating to maximum efficiency and effectiveness. So efficaciousness. They should be operating to maximum social efficaciousness, societal efficaciousness. It's got to be productive at the end of the day. And China, as atheist as it might be, has necessarily curved this market. Andrew Schultz was simply highlighting it in comedic fashion how China, in turn, 
has incentivized and made popular, made viral, stupid ass dances, dumb ass videos, people lip syncing for the sake of what? Clout, for likes, for followers, and not even putting anything out there that's worth thinking about. It's just mindless bullshit. So if we are in the age of 4D warfare, fourth generation warfare, I mean, this is 4D chess we're talking about, fifth generational warfare is necessarily not just planting a program in a society and letting it run, but necessarily promoting certain processes in that program while it runs within a society to just fucking corrupt it, to just hollow out that society. And that that society is the U.S. To just hollow out the U.S. of creativeness, of innovativeness, of innovation, and, and necessarily push to the forefront retardedness, necessarily social retardedness. It's to slow down. That's what retard means. To slow down social innovation while other nations get ahead. So, I mean, after a couple years, it it doesn't even have to require uh, a, a generational reproduction, a generational recreation of this. But after a couple years, you can see the effect of this program, the effect of this uh, uh, predatory process, god damn, it's, it's maniacal, it's diabolical, it's fucking genius. Kudos to China, fam. Kudos, I mean, if it is their intent, and if it's not their intent, god damn, kudos. They did this underhandedly, just unintentionally fucking beasts. Really, really, just, just all time all time uh, uh, <laughs> imperialist, all time, what is it? Yeah, just, just all time domineers, man, uh, for the cause, for the, for the love of the game, really. And, and the game is, at the end of the day, it's capital and it's profit, uh, you know, a- accumulating of it and reinvesting it, which, again, China is doing hand over fist, whether or not they're printing it out of midair, uh, out of thin air, whether or not they're just creating it out of nothing with whatever, I don't know, maybe they got a blockchain of their own, who the fuck knows, who gives a shit, point is that without requiring a generational reproduction of this, like, you don't even have to look at this longitudinally to study the effects and recognize the effects of this long term, essentially, Competition, innovation, creativity here in the United States will be driven down and suppressed to such levels, especially in in those demographics and those populations, which are a significant number, a large portion. I'm not going to say the majority because a lot of social media, I think uh, folks can see through the bullshit that is social media. But because social media is just have, has such uh, addictive attributes, folks want that dopamine hit as soon as they log from from the moment they log on to the moment they have to let it go because their battery is about to die. They're on three percent. They have to find a charger. From the moment they're on it to the moment they let go, they have to be hit with the dopamine. They have to. They, they need the dopamine drip. That said, if it isn't conditioned, if people aren't trained to find pleasure or to uh, release that dopamine when it comes to creative engineering, to something that's really productive, that's solving a social issue, a societal issue that's, uh, I don't know, one step closer to solving world hunger... And it might be, I don't know, ganking somebody at the top who was bottlenecking the resources to solve it, right? It, just any fucking ideas out there. They could be suppressing them while at the same time hyping up the bullshit where 
when it comes time for some foreign nation to make a move on U.S. ground, on U.S. soil, U.S. airspace, or, or U.S. metaverse, the shit's going to be like taking a virgin. Like a virgin again. Do I make myself uh, clear? Is that, is that understandable? I mean, you, you, uh, the, the concept also comes to mind of uh, virgin lungs. So like, uh, we used to get this a lot. We used to get this a lot. When we were turning out people uh, in, onto like, uh, turning people on to smoking weed. How about that? Not turning people out, but turning people on to smoking marijuana back in the day when we were hustling sacks, nickels and dimes, Swamps and eighths, all that. When it when it came time to introduce somebody, the first time they smoke, they always cough. And um, and and that was uh, the concept of having virgin lungs, right? And when you get accustomed to smoking, when you become accustomed to smoking weed, you train yourself uh, to to tolerate the smoke, right? So then you want all the smoke, right? Like your tolerance goes up and uh, smoking the same amount of, of weed after a while won't get you to that same point, won't get you the same amount of high because your brain has already become accustomed to it, right? So what do you do? You could uh, wean yourself off of smoking weed, you know, give yourself some time between uh, your smoke sessions, or you can cut yourself off completely, go cold turkey for maybe two or three weeks, right? And then when you come back, it's as if you have re-virginized your lungs and your lungs are like a virgin again. And when you smoke that sweet, sweet bud, that dank, that fucking gas, gasoline you get as high like you did your first time and I feel like uh, that's the phase that we're going through right now I don't know maybe that's just me I want to say I got my finger on the pulse of the nation but I mean I'm not going to hold myself out you know to such (laughs) such fucking grand such a grand position. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, the zeitgeist is out there for you to take notice of. It just exists. You have to you have to know how to plug yourself in, do the research, do the investigation that comes with with learning, with the learning and understanding, and then when you have this knowledge, turn around and apply it. Use it, right? And when it comes time, you have to be smart. We could be, we might just be in that point of uh, (laughs) empirical record where the good times are creating weak men, where the good times are creating weak women. And not weak like physically, not weak like like a weak uh, weak mind or, or or weak will, just weak spirit, weak spirit. Yeah, that makes that makes some sense, I guess. And they could, and that could in turn influence what their will is like, how volitional it is that they move. They could in turn become weak willed. But when you think about it, that shit's wild, man. You have to think of the market as uh, self-regulating. Could that be it? Like when you when you let a market, let a field go to fallow, right? You just let fucking weeds and, and wild grasses and wild flowers overrun it, so that that way, uh, with time. 
as a couple generations of wildflower take over a field. The field uh, is allows the field is allowed to replenish itself in terms of nutrients and in terms of uh, soil nutrient levels and 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 the basis for a good crop for when you know when it comes time to actually till the soil and and turn it over and start putting in some rows of some cash crop if if there were a nation treating the US the way a farmer a cultivator treats a field then why wouldn't you let it become overrun why wouldn't you uh just just let it go fucking stupid with dandelions and wildflowers so when the time comes to turn it over and by turn it over i mean till it fucking plow it sensually <laughs> When it comes time to turn it over and plow it and really expose the soft white underbelly, it's as if it was it were a brand new market. It's as if it were like a virgin again. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, yo. Get your fucking brain out of the gutter. Get to work. If you haven't visited the uh, IG, still shadow ban. Fuck it. But we're in the process of creating, uh, uh, you know, little accounts here and there, bit shoot and uh, Vimeo, to at least have uh, the episodes, episodes of the podcast out there in the metaverse, motherfucking like it matters, right? Patreon is still up, obviously. We'll be creating more tiers for that. So you can donate, keep this operation non-profit. All monies collected will go towards business expenses and uh, legal fees, per the usual. Want to wish you all a great week. And uh, get your significant other or your loved one some chocolates. And something a little stronger than a bottle of wine, you know? I don't know. Maybe I inspired you to uh, to do something romantic. <laughs> Have a nice one. Until next time. <laughs>